to my channel. Once the temperature dips below triple digits in Phoenix and into the high 90s, then there's a chill in the air and we all want soup for dinner. Of course, I'm just teasing and there's only two of us that like this soup in the family. But I love a good minestrone. And you saw there I was browning off about three pounds of ground meat, ground beef, and I'm only going to use about a third of that in the soup. I also have some celery that was on a relish tray. I have two zucchini. I probably won't use all of that. I have some carrots, tomato sauce, diced uh, petite tomatoes. Those are fire roasted, but it doesn't have to be fire roasted. Some cannellini beans, some cut green beans, some better than bouillon vegetable um, soup base. You could use vegetable, chicken, or beef stock in the carton if you'd prefer to do that. Some Italian herb seasoning, some garlic powder, an onion, which I only used half of, and some small shells pasta. I'm doing this video as part of an invitation for an open collaboration from Fallon from Moss Family TV. Each year she does a series that she calls Fall Food Friday, where she invites other YouTubers to um, put their videos onto a playlist that she has. And so it's a great, great way to get ideas for fall foods uh, something maybe that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. So check out Moss Family TV. I'll leave the link in the description box. First thing, I'm cutting up some celery. And also I'm cutting up the carrots, a handful of carrots in a julienne type slice. Um, Cut them however you'd like. Use as many or as little as you'd like. I put the celery and carrots into a large pot that I had some olive oil in, and I am going to start cooking those. Just on a low to medium heat. Next, I am peeling and dicing the onion, and it was kind of a large onion. I'm only going to use half of that. Next, I am cutting the zucchini into quarters and then slicing that up. And I only used about one and a half zucchini and I will use the other, um, the other part I put into the refrigerator and I'll use that as a vegetable for dinner one night. The celery and carrots are coming along nicely. And so next I am going to add the onions to that. Salt and pepper to taste. garlic powder to taste, and then a nice sprinkling of Italian seasoning. Then I add the zucchini and I usually add more salt and pepper to the zucchini and then I gave it a good mix 
and let it uh, cook for a little bit. I also added some more Italian seasoning since I had run run out of the bottle of pensies that I had. I had some other in the cabinet. It's looking and smelling really good. So I added the ground beef that I wanted to as much as I wanted to. Next I added the tomato sauce and the fire roasted tomatoes. Like I said, they don't need to be fire roasted. It's just that's what I bought at the store, so that's what I used. I also rinsed out the tomato sauce can by adding two and a half cans of water to the pot and then a couple of teaspoons of the vegetable soup base mix. If you wanted to do chicken, beef, or vegetable broth, out of a carton, you most certainly could do that. Just do two and a half to three cups of that. I drained the juice off of the green beans a little bit. If you wanted to put all of the juice in the pot, you could. So I added a can of the green beans. I had two of them out. I only ended up using one this time, but that's entirely up to you. I drained and rinsed the cannellini beans and then added those into the pot as well. I put a lid on and then simmered for a couple of hours. Then when I was ready to put the pasta shells in, I poured in the desired amount. I turned off the stove and put the lid back on the pot and within 30 minutes, it was cooked. I always like to add a couple of teaspoons of sugar to this. It cuts down the acidity of the tomatoes. And I forgot to do this while it was cooking, but I did it afterwards. I really like the way it makes it taste. And voila. Here you have a big pot of minestrone soup, the likes of which will rival any Olive Garden restaurant. I like to put this in individual Rubbermaid or Tupperware containers in my refrigerator and my freezer to use for lunches throughout the week. It also makes a great dinner. I also like to serve it sometimes with croutons on top. Thank you for joining me and be sure and check out Moss Family TV Fall Food Friday playlist to get some great ideas for the fall and the holidays coming up. Goodbye!